Hello YouTube, this is EN559Fresno and in this video I'm going to teach you how to jailbreak version 4.3.3 on the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPad 1st generation, iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation. And uh, as you can tell I am on version 4.3.3 on my iPad. So we're just going to exit out of here and um... You're going to need two things. You're going to need RedSnow 0.9.6 RC16 and you're going to need the firmware file for your device. Now, um, the links will be in the description. Say, let's just say this is the video right here. Down here, click show more and you'll see all the links come down. And um, if the firmware file, it's like all messed up and it's like a folder with like raw files, that just means your browser messed up installing it. Just right click on it then click rename and then just change the dot rar ending or if it doesn't have that just put dot ipsw and then hit enter or click somewhere else out of the space and it'll fix it just as long as it looks like this then you're all good all right so we're gonna there's uh, here I guess we'll go in order make it less complicated you're going to hit browse. Um, I know you guys can't see it very well, but try to use like the relative location. I'll hover my mouse right here. See, so see right here where it says browse. Hit browse. And then find where you downloaded the firmware file. Mine is in my desktop, so I click desktop. And then see, you're just going to select it right here. Firmware file. See, mine is the iPad, so I'm just going to hit OK. Just click on it and then click open. And it'll say processing firmware, and it should say successfully identified right now. See? So once it does that, hit next. And just wait for that. Alright, you'll see these options. You just want to install Cydia. That's it. So just make sure it's checked. It should be automatically. Hit next. Now you're going to put it into a state called DFU mode or sometimes recovery mode. Uh, basically what you're going to do is uh, hold the home button, I mean uh, power off the device. Then you're going to hold the power button for about 2-3 seconds. It'll tell you right now but I'm just giving you a heads up. And uh, once it powers on to the Apple logo and you hold it for like 2-3 seconds, you're going to hold the home and the power button for about 10 seconds and then you're going to release the power button but continue holding the home button for another 30 seconds and then the rest will take place by itself there is a timer but it really like it doesn't matter if you're you accidentally put your iPad or iPhone whatever you have into DFU mode ahead of time you can hit next and it'll automatically detect it the timer is just there as a reference alright so let me just move my camera back so just hit next right here, so right here, next, and make sure your device is powered off though. So here it's powered off. Make sure it's powered off. Alright, so once it's powered off, you're just going to follow the steps. It'll go right here in order. So first is to hold the power button right when you click next. See, hold the power button for two seconds. Now you're going to hold both the power and the home button. The home button is the button down here. So now you're going to release the power button, which is the one on the top, but continue holding the home button, the one on the bottom. So here, I guess we'll wait. See, it came up. Now if it said device not detected and now your iPad won't power back on, just hit back and then hit next and it'll automatically detect it. But um, mine's got detected so we can just let it sit. And just let that CDS stuff run. I'm sorry, I might let the red snow stuff run. Oh, 
Alright, so it should say done on Red Snow. You can just hit finish. And go to your iPad and you'll see all this, or whatever device you're jailbreaking, and you'll see all this stuff running. Just, I wouldn't touch it or anything, just let it run by itself. It'll finish by itself. So I'm just gonna let this run by itself, it'll finish and, uh, very soon. So just let it run, it'll finish by itself. See, it's going very fast, and now it's just going to power back up. And your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, whatever, is uh, jailbroken. And um, basically the next step is just to configure Cydia. Just open it up, let it update, and everything will be done. And I'll just show you uh, that it, mine has been jailbroken. I guess let me hold it sideways. Alright, so we're just going to slide to unlock, and, oops, Cydia is there, meaning my iPad or my iPad has been jailbroken and I can get new tweaks. Uh, hope you liked this video, please comment, rate, subscribe, any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section. Uh, if you like this video, you know, you could be like, oh, great video, thanks, or hey, I need help on this. Uh, whatever and um, just be, for, uh, be sure to click that uh, like button it would mean a lot to me and if you have any suggestions for future videos feel free to let me know private message me whatever you need to do uh, to let me know thank you